Washington, Dole spent more than seven decades in service to his country. While in elected office, he held several key positions, including Senate Majority Leader for the Republican Party. In February of this year, Dole confirmed he had been diagnosed with stage four lung cancer. President Biden is reacting to the news. In a statement from the White House, he writes, quote, Bob was an American statesman like few in our history, a war hero and among the greatest of the greatest generation. And to me, he was also a friend whom I could look to for trusted guidance or a humorous line at just the right moment to settle frayed nerves. I will miss my friend. CBS News congressional correspondent Nicole Killian has more on the senator's life. In the prime of his life, Bob Dole was one of America's most well-known Republican politicians, a World War II hero who wanted to become president. In a life filled with adversities, political and personal, Dole often turned to humor, <laughs> even in the face of a government shutdown. You ought to close this down, open up the zoo. But if you can't get into the zoo, this may be the next best choice. Robert Joseph Dole was born in Russell, Kansas in 1923. His family was hit hard by the Depression. To save their home, Dole's father moved everyone into the basement, renting out the upper floors. Dole embodied the greatest generation, a combat veteran who was wounded just before the end of war, his right arm paralyzed. The injury and four-year recuperation dashed his dreams of becoming a doctor, so he went to law school, which led to politics. Dole was elected to the U.S. House of Representatives in 1960 and eight years later to the Senate. I just listened to the President of the United States, and I must say, I don't know who gives him advice. But I don't think he's telling the American people the truth. After two failed bids to become the GOP presidential nominee, Dole left the Senate in 1996 for one final push. And my time to leave this office has come. And I will seek the presidency with nothing to fall back on but the judgment of the people and nowhere to go but the White House or home. He won the Republican nomination but lost the election in a landslide to Bill Clinton. After his defeat, Dole became a fixture on late-night TV and even a Viagra pitchman. He returned to Washington when his wife Elizabeth was elected to the U.S. Senate from North Carolina. He never stopped fighting for his causes, championing humanitarian issues and winning the World Food Prize in 2008 for combating hunger. His one-time political rival awarded him the nation's highest civilian honor. And in 2018, Dole's former colleagues gave him their highest recognition, the Congressional Gold Medal. Later that year, Dole paid tribute to President George H.W. Bush, one American patriot to another. Nicole Killian, CBS News. I want to bring in now CBS News political contributor and White House reporter for The Washington Post, Sean Sullivan. Sean, thanks for being here. What impact... <laughs> 